Hello again viewers, this is Vims here from Design Coder. This video is a part of the complete series that is available if you type Slidenode Udemy on Google that covers how to design plus code a professional Android app all the way from scratch to Play Store. Now go ahead and select the first option here. Now before you run away, let me show you a trick on how you can get a discount. Go ahead and click redeem a coupon here and enter app course in full caps lock and click apply and immediately bam take a look at that you get a huge discount and you can take the course for a much lower price now all you have to do is click take the course over here perform the login and complete the payment gateway and you can access all the videos in this series in this video let's take a look at how we can run a simple hello world app in android studio in the last video we took a look at how to install android studio which you can just start by hitting android studio on your desktop or you can go to applications and you can start android studio if it is present over here so once android studio starts you're taken to this welcome screen that has several options one of them says check for updates now if you click on that it should say that you have the latest version of android studio installed make sure of this click close now on the left hand side the recent project section there is nothing yet here it says no project is open on the right hand side we have the area where we can start a new project now let's follow the guide from developer.android.com while we are creating our new project in parallel the way you do that is simply go to developer.android.com once there go to the area that says develop over here under that go to training and under that you have getting started where you have building your first app click on that and it says creating an android project and once you're on this screen, you will notice that you're going to be in sync with whatever we are doing here in Android Studio. So the first step would be to go to Android Studio and select this option that says start a new Android Studio project. So on this screen, which is called new project, there are three things that you're supposed to tell. Let's take a look at these things in a little more detail. First is the application name, which says my application here. I will simply call it hello world second is something called the company domain if you take a look at this it looks like some kind of website i'm going to simply rename it as hello.designcoder.io notice that the package name changes accordingly to io.designcoder.hello.hello world let's remove this hello part and just keep it designcoder.io so that our package name becomes something like this now what are these things let's take a look at what developer.android.com says so application name over here as they mentioned is the app name that appears to users for this project they say use my first app again you're welcome to use anything you want company domain they say is provides a qualifier now basically in simple words if you come back here to the company domain this is going to help uniquely identify your app on the play store so let's go back and take a look at what package name says package name is basically the java package name now again there are some rules over here take a look at this option here that says edit you can edit it but remember that don't use capital letter words over here because package names are supposed to be totally small so for the project location as you notice it says users webs and there is an area on my directory where I can store this project now if you're on Windows I suggest you make a separate folder somewhere inside a drive other than C and store all your projects and if you're on the Mac you can make a separate folder on your desktop that contains all examples and let's click next over here and you're taken to another screen that says target Android devices on this screen I have the phone and tablet selected by default I'm not going to select the other options in this video Notice that there is something called minimum SDK. It says lower level targets more devices but have fewer features available. And by targeting API 15 which is selected here by default it says your app will run on 96.2% of the devices which is pretty good. If you click on this option that says help me choose you can see the amount of distribution for each Android version. Notice that the later ones like Lollipop have very few percentage of users out here and the older ones like gingerbread have a lot of users now remember that making your app work on older devices is going to take extra work from your end as a developer depending on how complex your app is a good rule of thumb if you get more than 90 percent users for your android version that you're targeting then we are pretty good so let's close this window by clicking ok and let's take a second to read the same thing here 
from developer.android.com where it says the minimum SDK is the earliest version of Android your app supports. To support as many devices as possible, set this to the lowest version available. Now remember that this also means extra work on your end. So let's go there and click next over here. We are taken to a screen that says add an activity to mobile. And you notice that there are several templates given over here. Now if you remember a website, it has several pages like home, about us, contact us. The same way an app has several screens. Each of these screens is called an activity in Android. In other words, if you open your contacts application right now on your phone, there is an activity that has the list of all contacts ordered from A to Z. If you click on one of the contacts, there is another activity that shows you the details of that contact like mobile number, email, etc. So Android Studio is asking us what template do you want to select out of these. So you notice that there is this menu over here. Then there are two areas on the screen over here. There is a form login option over here. There's a map over here and so on. There are several templates out there and we will pick the simplest one. Now, if you read the developer.android.com guide over here, it says add an activity, select the blank activity template. Now, remember that this documentation is kind of outdated. Blank activity used to be this one over here. In Android Studio previously but now blank activity is the one that has this button here at the bottom which is called a floating action button and it's part of material design if you don't want it you can select the empty activity here and click next over there now let's take a second and read what the snippet says about activities it says one of the most distinguishing features of Android an application has a main activity when the user launches the app and there are several other activities now this is very similar to saying that a website has several pages and when you start the website you will be taken to the home page the main activity is like the home page whereas the other activities are like other pages so on this screen which is called customize the activity we see two areas which require our input one of them is called the activity name which is the java class name of a file called main activity we can rename it to anything you want for example you can call this my activity and no problems with that notice how i'm naming things here every word has its first letter capital which is the naming convention for classes in java and if you see this option that says generate a layout file if i unselect that option the bottom part disappears if i select it again it says activity underscore my over here so in android there are two important files for each screen one of them being an activity class in java where you define how the screen works here in the layout part you define how the screen looks for example if you're trying to make a clock or a calendar in android the part about how the clock will work as in the seconds the hours the minutes the time conversion that'll be done inside your activity whereas the part where you describe how the clock looks will be inside the layout file in xml so you can click finish here at this point and you have your screen created android studio is going to call Gradle, which is basically a system that lets you build your app, which we can see when it says Gradle build, Gradle running scripts, configuring projects, and you notice that it completes the build. Android Studio starts up with the welcome screen that shows tips. We can click close here, and we have the complete project structure on the left and our files that is myactivity.java and active underscore my.xml are open over here on the right hand side so there are two main areas on this android studio screen the area where you code here on the right hand side and this left area where you have this project written if you click on project it collapses as you notice if you click on it again it expands and you can browse through the different files by going to res layout and you can find stuff now what are all these folders why do we need them and etc will be covered in the upcoming videos as we walk through code for now let's try to modify this text that says hello world just double click on it and i can say hello world from webs here once you have entered what you want just hit enter or return key on your keyboard 
and we have the text that's saved over here so when i try saving the file i get this error in android studio that says rendering problems the following classes could not be instantiated now the fastest way to fix such issues that you encounter in programming is to always search for the exact issue so let's go to google and simply type the same error that says the following classes could not be found wow take a look at that there are already people searching for this exact error on google there are several results here that you're welcome to read through them but to cut short the video i'm gonna go directly to the solution that is in the first post where it says replace the theme.appcompat.light.darkaction bar by adding a base word at the beginning now this has something to do with this file called styles.xml this basically defines how your app looks how all the widgets are colored and stuff etc it's like the css file of your website somewhat like the css file so if you click on this file styles.xml you notice that right now there is a parent here that says theme.appcompat.light.darkactionbar what they are asking you to do is replace that with base.theme.appcompat.light.darkactionbar so once you do that you go back and you notice that your screen is again visible now remember that the rendering problem doesn't mean the app won't run it will still run on your device or your android virtual device and you would still see the proper hello world message but we are fixing it so that we can see the output right here inside android studio without that annoying error in between to run this app we have two options we can either connect our real android phone and run on it or we can use an android virtual device that runs right inside your computer so let's try to use the virtual device let's go at the top here in android studio where you have this option that says avd manager click on that and it shows you the list of devices that you have now i have a nexus 5 which was created in the previous video at the time of installation i can start that by having this start button here it says launch this avd so click run on it and it says intel hexam is not installed would you like to install it now i will click ok and it says how much ram do you want to give to this android device i'm going to give the recommended 2 gb of ram click next it is going to ask me the password i will enter that click ok so finally the install is done i will click finish here and it says cannot launch avd error unknown name skin nexus 5. all right so there seems to be an issue with this device again let's use google to the rescue we can go there and type unknown skin name nexus 5 look at that the same error has been searched once again now there are several fixes for this so the most voted solution here says that my solution was to create a new device and use that and there is one for the mac here at the bottom that says i will try the advanced skin setting let me try that over here by simply going to the android virtual device once again selecting our device click the second option that says edit this avd and show advanced settings here and here in the custom skin definition i will select nexus 5 over here click finish and then i'll try to launch the avd and this time notice that it says starting the avd which means the guy over here on stack overflow who said this error went away was saying it right i'm gonna upload this guy's answer over here as my token of appreciation and we come back to android studio so there's our emulator that is finally launching up so once the device starts you get some pop-up over there just click that to run our app all we need to do is go back to android studio go to this option that says run app and click on that immediately it's going to ask you which device you want to run in our case it's giving us this nexus 5 which is currently running as an emulator use the same device for subsequent launches click ok and look at that it says gradle invocation has finished and the app is starting up and bam take a look at that there's our app running that says hello world from designcoder.io if you click on this back button here you'll be taken to the home screen from there you can go to the menu and notice that this is our application name hello world which we named in android studio you click on that icon you're taken to the main activity which shows this screen over here there is still a lot for us to learn to make something complex but you saw in this video that this process is not error free you will be encountering some issues or the other and google and stack overflow is your best friend in your journey in programming in android in the meantime in the next video let's take a further look at what we can do with this app 
Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.